Good morning, everyone. My name is Herman Paez, and welcome to my class, Chemistry with Herman. First of all, I'm sorry if you don't understand me as some words. It's because uh, English is not my idioms. I may speak Spanish, uh, so I'm from Colombia. But it doesn't matter. I will try to test you. So we start with this topic, periodic tables, also known as the periodic table of elements, an important topic in chemistry. So let's go. Okay, class, uh, when we learn chemistry, it's common to feel some fear because a lot of people say, oh, chemistry is hard, chemistry is difficult, but it's a lie. Chemistry is learned if the teacher knows how to teach. And for that reason, we will start with this topic, periodic table or the periodic table of element. This table is unique and there is not such a high school that has something as beautiful as this. And it's true. You can see a lot of color, letter, capital letters, capital letter to lowercase letter. But remember, you don't need to learn or to know names and symbol because you have this table, and this table is for your health. Okay, in this table, I can say I can see capital letter or capital letter with lowercase letter. And when I see a capital letter, a capital letter is an element. And it's an element, and element is the same if I'm talking about atom. Remember, element is an atom. But element is one atom. Um, when I see, for example, this two capital letter or this it's not an element and it's not an atom. It's another name. It's a molecule or compound. A molecule is when I have two atoms together or two elements together. For example, letter C is an element. It's a symbol, but its name is carbon. But when I see C and O, or two capital letters, this is an element and this is another element, it's carbon and oxygen. This is a molecule and this is an element or an atom. Letter H, hydrogen. Hydrogen is an element. But look at this, H and B and R. This is an element and this is an element. But together is a molecule. S is a sulfur. Sulfur is an element. But be careful, this S is not sulfur. Together is another element actually, and it's a selenium. This O is oxygen, but be careful with this O. This O is not oxygen. Together is another element, so please be careful with that. And the last one, E and L, is aluminum. This is an element. And remember, you don't need to know a lot of words because you have this table. When I see this molecule, this molecule, and this molecule, you can see something weird is a little number. This little number to the right of element is called subscript. I'm subscript. This number indicates how many atoms we have. For example, we have two oxygen. But when I can see any number, for example, this is mean uh, like if I have one atom. For example, how many atoms we have in this molecule? Okay, we have one carbon and two oxygens two oxygen so one plus two is three the answer is we have three atoms in this molecule exercise two we have two hydrogen one sulfur and four oxygen so two plus one plus four is seven so in this molecule we have seven 
atom. So when you see that, wow, you have a parenthesis. But it's okay, it's, it's not a problem. It's the same if you have a number three here or number three here. It's like a summarizing. Uh, so we have three hydrogen, three oxygen, and one. Remember, one aluminum. So we have three plus three plus one is seven atoms. So we have seven atoms in this molecule. So what happens if I see a big number before the molecular like three, five, or six? Well, there is, a, there is not a subscript. It's, this number is called coefficient. And coefficient indicates how many molecules we have. For example, this exercise, we have three molecules. Next one, we have five molecules. The last one, we have six molecules. But the question is, how many atoms we have? Well, be careful. First, in this exercise, we have one potassium, one manganese, and four oxygen. So, four plus one plus one is six. But six is not the answer. 3 times 6, remember, is a multiplication. 3 times 6 is 18. So the answer is we have 18 atoms in this molecule, or we have 3 molecules. Exercise 2, we have 2 hydrogens and 1 oxygen. So 2 plus 1 is 3, but 3 is the answer, it's not the answer. 5 times 3 is 15, so we have 15 atoms in this exercise, or 5 molecules. And the last one, we have 2 hydrogen, 1 sulfur, and 4 oxygen. So 4 plus 1 plus 2 is 7 atoms. But remember, 6 times 7 is 42. So we have 6, 40, uh, we have 42 atoms or 6 molecules in this exercise. Well, class, uh, this is all for today. Thank you for watching my class. My name is Herman and have a good day.